So I knew I was going to have some trouble with this lawn mower. I, it's a good old mower. It's seven horse. This thing is a hoss. I've left it sitting in the junk pile for about four years though because I was mowing with my little tractor. And uh, we had geese and things eating the grass in the yard. But this year I got grass to mow. Anyway, you know what happens if you leave a lawn mower sitting very long. Carburetor gums up. And uh, I cleaned it and all that. And I knew that uh, if it gave me much trouble, I was just going to swap it over to propane. All I did was drill the hole. I didn't even do a very good job of drilling the hole in the end of the air cleaner housing there. And uh, stuck the, uh, oh, stuck a propane hose on it. Uh, you can see that tube goes right up to where the butterflies are in that carburetor. Now typically a Briggs motor don't have this float bowl type carb, so you just have to figure that out. But all you got to do is dump your propane in nice and deep. Have you a uh, propane bottle. You may not have a real high tech uh, hanger like this, you know, that's good bailing wire. Don't say redneck like it's a bad thing. Anyway, uh, I knew this thing was going to run because it's a good engine. I just cracked that valve open. Let's see if I can start it and hold the camera too. This is easier when you ain't trying to film it. stuff ain't difficult you can pull about any lawnmower out of a junk pile most of them as long as it'll turn over they still got spark but uh, I just wanted to show you how easy it is to bypass that gunky fuel system I'm never gonna mess with a small engine fuel system again man it seems like you got to be a professional in uh, small engine uh, fuel systems to own anything like this and that's why these are always junked out uh, gas gums them up Anyhow, a little piece of tubing up the carburetor and a propane bottle with a valve on it. You got this thing dicked.